We don't know much about these women since they didn't leave much record, probably too busy doing business. However, in 1934, a 500-year-old manuscript was discovered and it turned out to be the autobiography of exactly such a woman. Her name was Marjorie Kemp and she was born here in Kings Lynn in 1373. From the start, she enjoyed a pretty good lifestyle. Marjorie saw herself as a bit of a trendy dresser. She wore her hair braided into gold nets and uh, her clothes were slashed to reveal even richer cloth underneath. Ooh la la! Marjorie's husband must have thought she looked good enough without the frills, or else he thought the frills were too expensive. Either way, he refused to pay for them. So Marjorie, as a modern go-getting woman, decided to earn the money for herself, and she set up in town as a brewer. The greatest in the town of Lynn. But then an odd thing happened. She started to lose her head. Well, at least her beer started to lose its head. It would be fermenting away, building up a nice head like this, and then the head would suddenly go flat and sink to the bottom. And quite honestly, not having enough head is about the most embarrassing thing that can happen to any brewer. And after a while, her brewers decided they couldn't stand the professional disgrace, and they ran away, and the business collapsed. It was time for a versatile woman like Marjorie to make another career change. And though it may seem an odd choice to us, she decided to become a full-time, professional, religious hysteric. Marjorie discovered that the thing she could do really well was weeping. And I don't just mean uh, the odd sniffle in the corner when she felt sad. She wept in public, extremely loudly and incessantly. She'd weep through mealtimes, she'd weep through sermons, she'd scream and yell and start rolling on the floor. A holy woman said it was a gift from the Holy Spirit, but most people thought it was just a damn nuisance. <laughs> When Marjorie went on pilgrimage, for example, her fellow pilgrims couldn't stand the way she wept and screamed through dinner. They ditched her before they got a quarter of the way to Jerusalem. So maybe not the typical businesswoman of the day, but at least before she died, she made it into the Guild. And here on the accounts for the Trinity Guild for 1438, we can see her record of her membership payment. Marjorie Kemp, 20 shillings. Thank <laughs> you.